Alright, so let's check. You got fuck with the shirt. My boy, thank you. I don't wanna talk about the manga right now. This is say the manga version of Deku isn't looking too well. Anyways, <clears throat> um, I got this bit from the Walmart app. I got one more Deku show on the way. I bought like three. So I got the first two at the crib and stuff like that. I might have it on screen of how much all uh, three of them were. So y'all can, you know what I'm saying, get your own. Hey, before we go any further, check, peep the sub cam. I think it's gonna be on the right side, baby. Ain't it's gonna be over here because I got more room. We well, we getting close to at least eight hundred. So go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button. Excuse me. Comment down below. Turn on post case for your boy. All the good stuff. It's currently about seven something. I ain't got my watch on me, so I really can't tell what time it is. So it, what are we gonna say about it's about seven fifteen, seven twenty. So so yeah. So by the time of the thumbnail. Y'all seeing that it's his for Goku is reading him, and I ain't gonna lie to you, it's his for Goku is him. Like before we get into how it all started, let's go back to the beginning stage. A GT with the baby arc. I don't know why I stopped like that. I don't like. I don't like that. Anyways, so Goku, Pain, and Trunks pull back to the Earth to get the Black Star, Dragon Ball, to Mr. Popo, and then they, but they didn't know that Baby I already took over half of the population. So as soon they made it back home, Goku feels some type of energy that wasn't right. So I, if I remember correctly, Goku sat here and was like, "Ah, right, y'all, let's take this outside." So Trunks, no, take that back. So, Goku and Gohan sat here, went outside somewhere far away. Fast forward the story, Goku was like, Alright, so who y'all? Y'all not the real Trunks. Y'all not the real Gohan and <clears throat> Goten. And then, Gohan is like, Hey, what you mean? We are your sons. And it's like that. In the laughing way, though. So basically, like I said, baby took over their bodies. So they basically control this shit. So Goku and start fighting his sons and stuff like that. So baby Vegeta pulls up. He was like, <laughs> What's up with Goku? And all the time I say that name. And then he's like, Baby, how you took over Vegeta's body? He said, Simple. When he got himself cut open, pause. Hey, yo! Anyways, I had to say that this case y'all be in the comment section having negative thoughts and shit. Anyways, so basically, Baby Vegeta started whooping Goku's ass. And I am not going to lie. Baby Vegeta was giving Goku the work. Goku tried to turn SS3, but his body can't withstand it because he in a kid form. So, that was out of the way. And then Goku witnessed Baby Vegeta's new transformation and shit like that. So, Baby Vegeta hit Goku with a revenge death ball and shit like that. Boom, send that boy to another dimension and some shit like that. I'm not gonna lie, we're gonna speed part this part right here. So, Goku got into another dimension. Another dimension. And, out of nowhere, he was forced to play this game. He wins, he get out. If he lose, he stays there forever. And, long story short, that green fox, dog, cat, whatever that it is yeah him and his son got called cheating and so the world started crumbling up and stuff like that while he put up Kimi and Kai and all of them and the Supreme Kai they all you know what I'm saying was like alright Goku so we gotta sit here and figure out how the hell you gonna stop baby Vegeta because not only he used the Black Star Dragon Balls to wish playing Topo back but he also sat here and finna destroy the other people don't let Earth get destroyed. Now, why this is gonna happen? Why he brought back the planet in Truffle? Simple. Long time ago, Planet Truffle was destroyed by the Saiyans when Prince Vegeta was ruled over. So, yeah, I said you had to put two and two together. But, anyways, so that's why Baby used the Black Star Dragon Ball to get back Planet Truffle. So Goku was over here like, okay, I need to hurry up and get stronger before my plan gets destroyed. I was some BS that happened a long time ago. 
So the comedian, so the Kai's and Goku trying to figure out what's going on. So I guess that green thing I was just telling you about, he starts seeing like a little thing popping out from Goku back. So apparently, when he was in kid form, he got he was growing his tail back. Cause Goku was like, ah, oh, my butt hurt. <laughs> I meant to say back, if I pack it. So, out of nowhere, that's when the tail started trying to come out and stuff like that. So, out of nowhere, that's when they were working on, okay, we got to yank the tail out so you can go in and be like this here. So, his son turned to some tweezers and Goku went through the most painfulness training in his sword span in his life they yanked the tail out and then poof like this here so goku was like all right i need to go to plan tough so i go ahead and beat baby so so the supreme kai was like i right, bet i got to come out so the supreme kai was in duck the office like that so but goku pulled up he was trying to find baby but i think baby found out i'm remembering the, from the top of my dome so i ain't really ain't watching I ain't really haven't watched the show, so bear with me. So, Goku found Baby. And Baby was like, hmm, I thought you died. But I guess I gotta make you a pack this time for sure. So, they start going at each other like that. Whoop -de -whoop. Fast forward story, even some more. Goku almost got hit with a range death ball again. But, what saved him? Plot. So, uh, besides plot. So, Goku seen Earth. And Goku started feeling the drama liberation. I meant to say, start feeling his heart pound. Just in case y'all didn't know, I got that from One Piece. So he started feeling his chest pound and stuff like that. He turned to the Great Ape, then the Gold Great Ape, and then he started stripping his lungs out even more when he's when it's his three when he faced Boo and voila, it's his four Goku was born. Now before we go any further. I must say this, and I'm gonna say this with a straight face. If another grown man tells me my punches are ticklish like a feather, I promise you, I'm not fighting you. I'm pulling the blick out. Nope, no, because you telling me a wee dog, I'm not weak. Punches only. Two. I'm a solid guy. Like a You're not feather. gonna sit here and tell me my punches are tickled. So with Goku turning, it's his fault. They was like, where this power came from? And then Goku had a Vegeta moment. I hate to say that. I had a Goku fan. But I hate to say it. Goku had a Vegeta moment. was like, did you not know this, baby? A Saiyan is stronger about <laughs> Before we die. <laughs> and I was like, bro, he really had a Vegeta moment. So, so Goku and baby Vegeta, well, where is the baby? Start fighting and shit like that. That's when Goku was over here with Toy with him and stuff like that. Baby was over here flipping the fuck out, over here panicking and shit like that. I was like, I can't lose to a saying. These, 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 these dirty, these are we ready? Ready to get on my nerves? I already got one of control. Why you? Why? And so Goku was like, basically, I'm the main character and shit like that. And I understand why people say GT stands for Goku time because it really stands for Goku time because this man Goku really was on demon time and ain't gonna hold you. So the man Goku really started giving baby the work, but unfortunately, baby want to sit here and get the same powers as Goku, not the tail form, but when he went to grade eight. So he had a form to sue him the way the blood wave, how you pronounce that shit, to sit to him so that way he can go ahead, you know what I'm saying. And be like this, you know, be a great eight. So when go when baby turns to great eight, baby, that's when the actual party starts beginning. Man, great eight Vegeta. I would hate to see him again. Who? But baby, great eight Vegeta. Man, I'm talking about. He started giving Goku the business. I ain't never seen. Great A Vegeta moved that quick before. Even when the sand arc happened, I still ain't seen Vegeta move that quick. So the man over here was just buying Goku from left to right, right to left. And then Baby was talking shit like, yeah, you came for me now. You turned to Issus 4. But guess what? I'm Baby Vegeta. Yeah, you came for me. 
So they start boxing even more. And then on top of that, Goku was over here running down the energy. He was like, damn, I can't, I can't hold on this longer. So Goku called it bluff or something about you ain't gonna be able to kill me. This that nerd. And so baby started crushing on his body and stuff like that. And he realized, oh, you talking you ain't got that much stamina. Oh, I'm for that field day with you, Buckaroo. So baby was trying to go for the kill. And stuff like that. And fast forward story even more. I can't remember what happened, but I remember this part right here. So Kamiya Kai was over here with bringing, giving everybody, you know, off from the position, from the mind wash. We're going to say mind wash. Mind wash of a baby. So he went to Goten, Trunks, Gohan. Who was was on the brain control? All the other sea fighters. So basically, Supreme Kai was like, all right, we need to help Goku out so he can go ahead and defeat Baby. So while Goku will be screaming out his lungs and shit like that, Baby won't find to go ahead and go for the kill. But at the same time, plot intervenes again. I'm skipping certain parts because like I said, <clears throat> we need to go ahead and get this out of the way because we have the 11 minute mark right now. So, um, before all of this happened, Oob faces Baby. Now, Oob lost, but his catch. Oob lost on purpose. So, they can go ahead and let Baby eat him. Pause in general. So, yeah. Oob was inside of Baby. Pause. And was screaming his lungs out saying, you should be careful what you eat. Because not all good things is going to taste good or have a good effect. Good after effect, I meant to say. So... Poof, like this here, baby was over here having like a bad stomach problem. Like, you know how like you go to like any restaurant or go to somebody's house, you ate some, you thought it was good, but it probably was half done or or wasn't cooked all the way. That's still half done, but still, it wasn't cooked all the way or whatever the case may be. Yeah, that was how baby was feeling. That boy acting like he was about to take the meanest in his life. I'm talking about that man was acting like he about to take the meanest deuce. His whole lifespan. So while everybody was trying to help Goku, Goku was like, "Y'all just give me your energy." The same way how they were doing in the uh, Super Saiyan God movie. The same way how they were doing it in the Baby Arc. So it was giving Baby. There was no. It was giving Goku energy and stuff like that. So after that, Baby was like, "Huh, man." He spit the guy up. Ooh, he said, "I feel." He said, oh yeah, I feel bust better now. So, Baby from the end of with a Super Gala gun. But, 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 Goku was like, nah, we go ahead and wrap this up. And then, poof. I remember this part right here. So, Goku was like, alright, bet. I'm waiting for Baby to go ahead and get the fuck out of Vegeta. But they cut the tail. And that's when Baby went back to second form. He said like that. And then out of nowhere, Baby was like, nah, fuck this. I'm out of here. And so, yes, he got outside of Baby. He got outside of Vegeta. I can't remember how. That's why I'm skipping over some of stuff because I don't remember that much. But still, so Baby was over here from the lead. The pain was like, Granddad, you gonna let him leave? So Goku, having a somewhat IQ, was like, hold on, pain. Just a few more seconds. So the nigga really sat here. And said, right on schedule. And use a mean command mail wave on Baby. So he can shoot Baby ship all the way to the fucking sun. And it was like, no! No! And that's how SS4 Goku is one of my favorite SS4s. I mean, his favorite saying, um, what you want to call it? Saying, the Super Saiyan. Fuck it, bro. We ain't even worried about it. Forms. My favorite Super Saiyan Forms. Why it took me a minute to realize that? I don't know. Anyway, Ted, that's the end of the video right there. And then there's this a little disclaimer inside note. Stop sitting here saying y'all want SS4 Goku and all of that in games. And y'all do not claim GT. I understand GT is a spinoff and shit. But damn. Shut, shut up. Shut up. And then I ain't gonna lie to you, Chad. 
me watching Spark Zero, aka Buddha guy think I eat a full trailer. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. If y'all want to smoke, man, guess what? I'm gonna be, I might stream it on a Twitch. It might, it's supposed to come out probably what? I think next year. It ain't next year. It probably gonna be next year because we still ain't got the full roster yet. So most likely next year. We're gonna say next year is like DJ6. If it comes out next year, hey. On the tube or on Twitch. Hey, hands gonna be running. Friendships gonna be ruined. Family members can get you too. You feel me? But like I can say this in the, the video. So you're new to the channel, go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, you new tone post case for your boy the good stuff. Also comment down below. Um I'ma do the shim the um Omega Shim Run uh, video. If y'all want that, let's get the video at least by three to four likes. And I got you next time, y'all. Y'all take care and stay blessed, man.